Force RC. Um, not luscious Luke today, but uh, this is Tom. Uh, I guess you could call me Tom the Bomb. Uh, we're going to do a unboxing of the new Cloud 9 L39. This is a four cell little hand launch jet. Uh, pretty excited about it. I'm going to use it with my DX20, and we're going to put up 635. So, up. No frills box. Um, let's see. Pretty well put in there. I like it. Looks good. Everything's taped down. Keep it so it gets to you nice from us. Alright, give me a knife. Give me a knife. three-channel plane, and I just pulled out the rudder, and when you say three-channel with a plane like this, that means it's just throttle, aileron, and elevator. It has a rudder-like piece of foam, but really it's just a stabilizer. So, that is a vertical stab. Another part that's taped here. Oh, we got a manual. Another no frills or frills thing. It's just a single sheet here. It's been translated to English. That's great. Um, it goes through the assembly, which we're going to go through here. Put that guy to the side. See if I can reach in there without cutting anything else. like a foam stand, which is outlined in the picture on the front. I'll just leave it there. I'll open that up later. Looks like some, what, like fuel nacelles or tips on the end there? Swing tips? So now we're centered on uh, my workbench here. We'll start taking things out of the packaging. Pretty nice looking fuselage. Red, white, and blue. My favorite colors. Flying small planes. Elevator. And like I said, our stab. And then our stand. I'll do that later. So 
we'll try to follow the manual with this one, even though I'm not a big manual guy, right? Yeah, looks like they put some magnets in there for us. So I doubt that they have us glue them on. That, that's pretty cool, so if you uh, crash, it just pulls it right off. I like that. That's a good idea. Alright, no magnets on that, though. So we've got a Y harness here. Come on now. Pretty good size wire on us right there. Seems to be fairly good gauge wire. Alright. Let's see if she pops open. Ah, there we go. Oh. Dean's connector. I think that's fairly standard with these guys. So, luckily, we've got a Venom pack that has their uni connector. So you can use uh, Dean's EC3 and XT's. Love these. They're great. Alright. So, now that we've got that out, Let's see what the manual tells us to do first. Open the box. Got that. And all the basic electronics are installed. This is the basic. Oh, here's number two. So it says first install the wing, put aileron servo wire into the fuselage, and then glue the wing with the fuselage using foam glue. Notice make sure wire is neatly arranged along the wire slot before gluing. So. All right, so we gotta glue this wing on. So for that, we're gonna use some kicker and some zap foam safe. That'll work well. And following the instructions, it says that there is a groove. I suppose it's this groove here that we want to follow. Just going through the same hole here. We're going to go through this hole here and feed our wires in there. Let's see if I can't get the connectors in there as well. Yeah, that should be good. Alright, flip it upside down. Make sure we don't got nothing holding us back. wire right there. It looks like it's sitting flush. Yeah, we should be able to glue it on. Okay, so for kicker, if you don't know already, you want to apply glue to one surface and then kicker to the other. So we'll apply glue to the wing saddle. Usually takes a little bit of time with this stuff because foam safe takes a little bit more time to cure. It should be good here in a few seconds. All right, so we got the glued on wing. A little bit of gappage, but we can kind of fill that in with some CA later. All right. So next part on the manual is it says to glue on the elevator. Let's knock down my twenty. So, we've got one of these little snap-on connectors, or easy connectors, as uh, I believe Dubro calls them. I doubt these are from Dubro, but that's what they're called. And it's 
already bent for us. And it looks like the elevator servo is centered, but we can adjust that. It has a little, uh, you can unscrew that and you can push it in and out to adjust the center. So that should work well. see what I'm doing. Uh, I'll take my easy connector. I've got the pin through the last hole. It doesn't say in the manual what pin hole. I don't think. Got it in there. I'll glue the stab on. Kind of the same rule. Just glue there, here. Just bring the kicker on the elevator. Down, down. Looks like we want to line it up with this slot here. So, where she sat, hold it there. Seems like a pretty easy plane to put together. Um, says that it only will weigh about 25 ounces. That's pretty light. Uh, wing loading is 25.5 ounces. Um, so this guy is supposed to be pretty fast. I would think it might be a little stall happy at low speeds, being that heavy for this light of a wing. But we'll see. All right, got that part. Let's see what the manual says to do next. It says to not glue that portion because there's a maintenance hatch or a maintenance cover on the fuselage in this position. Oh, it does. Let's check this maintenance cover out. Oh, it's taped on. So it looks like it's got like a little hatch here so you can get to the uh, ducted fan unit. That's kind of nifty. So we're only going to glue this portion here. All right, should just set by itself. Make sure it's straight. Square it up. You don't want it being off a little bit. You'll have to trim that out. She is on there. Okay. A little overzealous with the glue, but she should be all right. This is a good throw in your car and go fly kind of plane, it seems like. So, like I said earlier, these uh, wing tips have little magnets on them, which I think is really nifty. That's a good idea. Just put that there. Yeah, aileron, elevator, and throttle here. And heat shrink the little connector together for us. So let's see where it suggests to put the receiver at. It says to put the receiver on its side here. The uh, thing about 636s, gyro receivers like this one, uh, you normally gotta you know, mount it flat down. Um, so let's try to think of a good place to put that. for a battery to move around. That looks good. We'll go with right there. This is where I 
Uh, Velcro comes into play. I like to put the soft side on the item that's being stuck in there. the elevator servo right there. Yeah, that should work really well. And a bunch of wiggle. Shouldn't be a lot of vibration on this plane. Ailerons. Oh. These guys have a little key on them. A little Fataba key. So we're going to trim that off. Usually I like to use a pair of nail clippers for that. Not sure if this knife's gonna be hot, sharp enough for it. Nope. So if you look, if you're using a spectrum receiver and you look at these little connectors, it has uh, these little the keyway on there for Futaba, um, or fairly standard Futaba. Other connectors will use it. But what I like to use is to borrow my wife's nail clippers. Aren't these pretty? You can just clip that little guy off. Nice and clean. Yeah. The elevator servo does not have that. Channel one is throttle. We want to make sure our signal connector is up. That reminds me, we got Velcro, it makes it easy. One, two for aileron, and three for elevator. Wonderful. All right. So, I think the only last thing we got to do is see how the battery is in there and CG. trash here. Alright, so we're going to probably want, I would assume we're going to need be putting the battery pretty close to the nose, so we'll put it there. It's almost a perfect size for that battery. Okay, let's see if they put any CG dots on here for us. Doesn't look like it. Let's see. 
Adjust the center of gravity to 50 millimeters back from the leading edge of the wing root. All right, so we're gonna find our CG location. The uh, manual, like I said, says 50 millimeters from the wing root. So we're gonna go with about there. I'm gonna make a mark with a pink highlighter. CG this guy upside down like we should with a low wing plane like this. Right. Alright, so I've got my CG locations marked. Let me see if where I put the battery was a good idea. Finger there, finger there. And she's a little nose heavy. Not terrible. So. So that's the Cloud 9 L39. Looks like it's a nice little hand launch guy. Got a spot for you to grab there. So hopefully we can throw straight and true. Be in the air. Thanks for watching.